good afternoon, evening, <laughs> morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's write. Ready? Yeah. Hello, everybody. It's time for another Law Light. Brought to you by Foreman Watson, Holtry. I'm Travis Holtry, and we are here at 530 Frederica Street at the High Rise, the White Tower. Very good, PJ. Getting better <laughs> and more comfortable with our introduction. Proud of you. Yeah, well, you know, it's just, uh, it's been ingrained. It's a part of who I am now. Hey, uh, you know, we had an episode last week about the Super Bowl, and it's come and gone. Was it enlightening or fun for was you it, was it everything i hoped for you know commercial wise i'd say yes uh there's there's always a few uh stinkers but, i heard uh, that you really were focused on the coin toss i was i really how'd those games of golf go huh well <laughs> i'm gonna find out we haven't played them yet it's still a little cold outside but we'll take care of that anyway onward and upward <laughs> Um, let's talk today, uh, here at the firm, we're doing a thing during February and it's hard to believe we're already in February, 2020. I know. You know, we were just talking about uh, the, the, t- the turn of the year, you know, Christmas and the holidays. But anyway, um, f- uh, February is staff appreciation month here at Foreman Watson Holtry. And I wanted to just, you know, this episode may be a, a little bit shorter because we could kind of, it's focused and one of the things, but, but right. I kind of wanted to go kind of top to bottom uh, or side to side through the, through the staff and just kind of talk about uh, the, the, the qualities that make that person what they are and why they're an important part of the team. And, um, and so, you know, we thought that would be a good idea. Yeah. Um, one of the things that's important is that our firm, uh, we have a lot of people who uh, get to specialize in what they do. Um, and I think that's a big difference if, um, if you're asking a person to kind of be a jack of all trades, but a master of none, then you kind of get what you pay for, you know? And, um, we are fortunate here to where we have, um, people kind of honed in on their area of work. And I think it makes FWH a, a unique law firm in that, in that regard. And, um, and, and so, you know, you've, been able to work kind of in in the factory setting and in the industrial setting and then you've worked for some other in education um, you know for the community college right. and things like that there is a, a a fundamental truth that um you know a person is only as good as the company they keep the people that they put around them and i am just a, you know sometimes i gotta i gotta pinch myself is this real i mean the, the people that we have here are just genuinely good people and um and you know and i include you PJ and that, appreciate despite that. some of your man boob comments on the uh, uh, <laughs> law light uh, episodes, and uh, it's not the worst comment. That's I've not ever the made. worst. That's right. And uh, anyway, so hey, um, let's just start. Um, you know, the best way for me to do it is kind of go down the hallway, so I don't leave anybody out, and then okay. we'll go over to the uh, Ohio County office and talk about those people. But down in the very far end, and you are now down there, Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, right next to your office is Tyler. And, uh, Tyler is the new partner here at Foreman Watson Holtry. And, um, he is, um, uh, an attorney. And so we don't really consider him staff appreciation, but, but, you know, Tyler has uh, gone from being an associate attorney with no experience, uh, up through and is now a partner and has been important in the selection and in the, uh, input in who our staff is. And so I'm not really going to focus as much on the lawyers here, but it is important to point out that all the lawyers have had a lot of say in the direction we went with picking the staff, you know? Right. And I think that's important, you know? Um, but then there's you. So, uh, yeah, PJ, your, your position, I mean, we've, I kind of, we kind of talk, talk funny about being the technical guy and all this stuff, but <laughs> we, really you are the video producer, uh, in our, um, uh, in, in all of our settlement productions, right? Right. And then you help work with um, the podcast, and so you're the podcast, podcast uh, yeah. uh, I help uh, editor with, with the marketing and, team at times, right? And, and you've yeah. helped with the marketing team, but your 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 primary focus is on uh, helping us 
put together, I mean, it's 70% of your time helping us put together settlement Amen. videos, and we do those as documentaries. And we've talked a lot about that. Um, we've talked about your opening week here and how entertaining <laughs> yeah. that was for you and for me. But uh, I, I just want to say I we appreciate you. Um, Thank you. We appreciate the work that you do. Uh, there's never I've never met somebody who would be the epitome of more of a team player, even though I know you don't like sports. Um, <laughs> but yeah. There's m- different kinds of teams, right? Yeah. And um, this is a team here. FWH is a team. And uh, your involvement in that is critical. Thank the, you. you are teachable. Uh, you are aim to, to please. You're hard worker. You're reliable. I have thoroughly enjoyed setting off in this podcast venture with you. Likewise. And I think that, uh, you know, it, it, I look forward to just all the fun we get to have and all the work we get to, you know, and, and good we get to do for clients together. I don't think clients really appreciate what you do for them. You know, and maybe that's a, a place where we can focus on at least saying, hey, you know, PJ had a big part of this because right. they see you when they when you videotape right. them and, and that's, and that's I mean and, and honestly I mean that's not why I do it I understand I, you know I do it because uh, you know I, I, when I started doing this it was based off my passion for video work right um, and what I do here in some degree is similar to what I did when I worked at the TV station I was in charge of special projects so I had to most of the time it was turning nothing into something um, the big difference is here. It starts out as something, and then I have to put that something together and tell that story. And and um, just at my core, I'm a storyteller. Right. With this, it's not just telling stories, but it's also helping people who need to find some kind of resolution with the situation they're going through. So right. it's it's rewarding, even if they don't know. I'm part of that process. So. Yeah. Well, you do a great job, and um, and and we're just it's going to be great moving ahead with things that we have oh, planned and stuff so now coming uh down the hall the next person would be um kara and mm-hmm. uh, kara is the uh the epitome of all business no play <laughs> let's get it done we are yep. here to work quietly goes about her day aims to please but is when you say nose to the grindstone that is kara you know uh kara worked at a for one of the best lawyers I know who is also a mentor of mine Charlie Moore and you can tell that she has had uh, training to uh, in his all business you know and our yeah. clients are lucky Ty, Ty, she is primarily Tyler's assistant she works with me on some of the larger litigation cases um, and her work is spot on coming uh, up the office hallway further you've got Chris Seyfried who's our workers mm-hmm. compensation attorney and uh, we've had him uh, on the show before, and uh, he is uh, he is uh, certainly an interesting guy and fun to talk with. And uh, his assistant, however, is Shannon, one of the most gentle, polite people who does not want to offend a flea. Yeah. I mean, would feel bad if if she accidentally killed a housefly. <laughs> um, dedicated to her work, aims to please, does not want to let you down. Uh, goes above and way beyond, not just above and beyond. She goes above and way beyond the call of duty. You get here, she is loyal. She feels guilty when she's sick. She feels guilty for missing for anything. And I could go on and 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 on (laughs) (laughs) about Shannon. Right. Um, Moving down the hall, uh, your old office, Mm -hmm. now manned by um, um, Davin, who is not staff? He's an attorney. He's an associate attorney. He has been staff. That's one. You know, he, right. I think he's the only person really that's gone from like being in a staff position of a of an assistant and then a, and a clerk and then and now as a lawyer here. Right. And but he's have, still new blood. To have somebody grow up through the system and right. grow up through the firm and and um, you know again intelligent, highly intelligent, um, wants to please, wants to get better every day at what he does genuinely cares about our clients if you were saying hey where's this stock going to go it's going to shoot you know he's 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 a he's a winner we go from davin's office to missy's office how fortunate am i to be able to come to work every day 
uh, and have my wife here. You I'd know? say very fortunate. Yeah, and and she's y- and she's a nurse. So. Yes, she is, and that, that that there's there's that's there's some pros and cons to that because she does self diagnose <laughs> herself too. Right. You well, know, I was gonna say for me it would be saved a, you some would, money. Yeah. Well, yeah. it would. I mean, if I mean if she, like if my well actually if my wife was a nurse, it would probably drive her crazy. But it would drive her crazy because yeah. you drive Missy crazy. No, I'm just joking. Yeah. I'm well, joking. Probably no, 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 no. <laughs> I've told Missy before. I was like, if I had your job here at the firm i mean she (laughs) pilfers through medical records all day long and then when she wants a break from that her job is to contact clients and talk to them about their medical problems and then to report on them and stay in touch and make sure we know what's going on with their medical issues right so not only is she summarizing medical records making us aware of issues that are in medical records she's also contacting clients daily to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do with regards to medical treatment. to And, and you know, we've done Tuesday tips about that, how important that is. Yeah. And then we hire her. Now, I, I can tell you that we're the only personal injury law firm, PJ, in this area that, that I know of that has a nurse on staff. And the yeah. reason I think that's important is, is that allows our paralegals to focus on being paralegals, on case preparation, on client um, development, all the things that they do, file, you know, file maintenance, keeping things in order. They can do those things because they don't have to worry about the medical record uh, interpretation and the, the hand holding of the client for medical purposes. Missy's job, it takes a special personality to be able to do, and we are blessed to have her. Those that don't know me real well know that I married Missy about four years ago, so it's a second marriage for me. I can't believe it's and, already been four yeah, years. Yeah, and what's interesting about that is is that when I made the decision to ask her to consider working with me it was in my mind i had finally found the person that i you know truly loved and i was right. like man it's just not fair that i only get to see you a few hours a day you know it's like <laughs> yeah. i get to, you know so i want to since i kind of caught up with you late in my life i want to see more of you and um, a lot of people say i don't see how you all could do that it's a, you know and it, it hasn't had a few moments sometimes because we we bring over our personal life into the firm right. that's a relationship but, uh, though but, but right um uh, but uh, whole, uh, in the whole uh, i would not trade the opportunity of working with missy for the world it's it's been wonderful i love it i look forward to it and she's definitely valuable to us it's, yeah it, i agree you I, I can say this you two work together very well I know you said that. I guess some personal things have gotten brought over. I haven't really noticed that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you both hide it very well if it does. Yeah. And we try not to. We talk about those. I mean, but you know, you can't help. Something comes up in the middle of the day. She wants to let me know. It makes yeah. me upset. It makes her upset. Yeah. Well, you're um, still human, but, but she's would, an asset. It's no different really than is. if I was on the phone with her saying, "Hey, how are we going to deal with this? You know, good night. Right. You know, that kind of thing." Like just a few minutes ago, you heard a phone call where something weird happened with the shower curtain, right. and I'm sitting here trying to work. That that's examples of it. She is so compassionate with our clients. You know, they they like her a yeah. lot. They like calling Missy and talking to her. So now, you know, we're kind of loaded up back here in the back end of the firm. Um, <laughs> we, we tried to get away from that, and here we are we're bringing it back. But we have Kelly, who's been on the uh, podcast um, mm-hmm. with us. Um, Kelly has been here five years. She is a dedicated, loyal person who, you know, it takes a lot to keep her away from the office. Um, she is very intelligent. Kelly is a very intelligent person. Um, she has a degree from the University of Kentucky. She has taken on more and more and more of the responsibility. I what's, Here's what I really appreciate about Kelly. Whether she's working on a case that's a thousand dollar case or she's working on a case that's a million dollar case, there is no drop off in her her output. Her work is as intense and focused on the minimal issues as right. it is on the, the issues that are going to bring the firm more income. And when a person has that ability to be able to be the same reliable, predictable outcome level, I mean, output level, uh, no matter what the task is, that is worth its weight in gold. And Kelly is super at that. Now, I'll tell you one thing about Kelly. I, When I was single, before I met Missy, right before, it wasn't long before I met Missy. It was literally th- three weeks before I met Missy. The Davis County Bar Association has a uh, Christmas dinner dance type thing. And I had been seeing someone and had asked that person, hey, would you go to this with me? And, and they, we, she had agreed. 
and not long, like a, a matter of a day or two, maybe three days before, uh, she decided not to go. Okay, so she broke it off with me. Here I was. I I, I wanted to have somebody to go to that with. I didn't want to go by myself, you know, right. that kind of thing. So I invited Kelly to go as a friend. I said, hey, you're my secretary. Would you like to go to this as a friend and just, you know, meet some of the lawyers and stuff? And she took one for the team, and she went, uh, and, you know, Tyler was there, and, 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 and so it was more of like a – all of us together, right. you know, and it was it was fun, and I've never forgot her willingness to be be willing to do that, and and it was like it was, yeah. it was kind of like when you know <laughs> a, a brother or sister, or older brother or sister steps up and you know helps. It, that's how I felt. I felt that I, I think of Kelly as as a younger sister, you know, and right. uh, that's funny. and so anyway, that's something that some people don't know, but Kelly helped me out there. The other thing that I would like to to to, to share is about Amy, who sits in back here. Now, Amy has been with me longer than any of my paralegals or assistants. Amy's been with me for thirteen years. Amy is the person in this firm who will. Um, does not want to disappoint you. She she doesn't like to see you upset. She doesn't like to see our clients upset. She is um, she is very focused on keeping people pleased with you know the, the the representation they're getting their cases. Amy is a worry wart. She's always worried that she's messed something up. She'll triple quadruple check things to make <laughs> right. sure that they're right. Um, Amy also makes sure that I always have sour candy. Amy always makes sure that I am well fed. Yeah, she um, feeds your addiction. When I was going through <laughs> my divorce, Amy was the one that made sure there was food here for me to eat. And and, and it was kind of she is a she's a tremendous mother. She has twins and yeah. you see how active and involved she is in her children's life. And that carries over here. You know, she's that type of personality with us. Now, Amy's come a long way. I have some stories. We have to get Amy on the podcast sometime because we gotta tell some of the stories about her. Her early days with the firm when, you know, there's just some hilarious stories. All in all, man, I mean, she's the grit. She brings it. She's tough. Uh, she's, she's from the Northeast. She's from Connecticut. And so she has that side about her that's, that's, that's a little bit more rigid. And uh, it's a great mix between her and Kelly. The next assistant is one who has been with me almost as long as Amy. And I hired her when Amy was off for maternity leave. So... Uh, 12 years ago, but it's Kathy. Now, I knew Kathy. I attended church with Kathy and her daughter, Jessica, uh, knew my daughters, my oldest daughter, and she were good friends through church. Kathy, first of all, what's, what I'll always remember about Kathy was her willingness to step in in a time where I was in a crunch. I was in a pickle. Amy was on maternity leave or needed to be on maternity leave for having twins. I had a growing law practice. I was out on my own, basically, and I, I asked Kathy, and Kathy had no legal experience. Kathy's experience before coming over and being a legal assistant was that she worked for the Kentucky State Police, She and she retired from the Kentucky, not as an officer, obviously, right. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, worked in, 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 in data and, and um, evidence. All of the Kentucky State Police officers that I've talked to that knew Kathy in that setting said that they could call and they could ask Kathy about an incident or a case or a matter, and she could remember she had a picture-perfect memory. Well, when she came over to work for me, that was the first thing I realized is, man, you tell her something, she doesn't forget it. Right. And uh, another person who is very extraordinarily loyal, and she's not only worried about us doing good here, she's worried about us doing good in our personal lives. She's worried about our families. Her greatest strength is her greatest weakness. She's a mother hen. There is absolutely Absolutely, positively, no way in the world I would be where I'm at today professionally if it wasn't for Kathy. She is an incredible paralegal. She is great at training, and she knows. She knows that she frustrates people, and she knows she gets them upset, and she doesn't really care because she knows in the end that's making them better. Right. And that's what's important. She understands the end product that we're looking for as opposed to being offended by offending people. She also is a very compassionate person. Just recently, I got on to her about something that she had done. I probably went, I, I, not probably, I did. I went too far in my reprimanding of her and to see how personal she took that. Um, meant a lot to me to see that that was her response, and and it, I felt bad for the way I handled it. There is again, there's no hesitation in saying that Foreman Watson Holtry would not be where we're at if it wasn't for Kathy. 
Okay, so we have John, who is an attorney that goes to all of our different county offices and places, and you know he's right. a renegade. He's a he's a funny guy. Um, he's an attorney, so again, this is kind of designed to talk about our staff. But uh, you know, John kind of has to use all of our different staff members, and one of the ones that he uh, uses and and is also used by Holly is our newest. Um, uh, staff member over in Ohio County, Bria Hoops. And, um, you know, I, I don't know Bria real well because I'm not over in Ohio County. I do know I've talked to her and had to have a couple talks with her as she's gone through her training here. And uh, she seems to be receptive. Another person who is stepping into uh, being a legal assistant with no legal background. Okay. So you can imagine the learning curve there. Right. And um, so she's been patient. She's been receptive. Does she have a lot more to learn? Absolutely, as we all do. But uh, she seems to be taking it in stride, and we're glad to have her as a part of the team over in Ohio County. Um, now, the next person I'd like to talk about in Ohio County is Stacy, and Stacy has actually been with Foreman Watson before it was Foreman Watson Holtry. Uh, she was here and worked for Tyler, and then when we needed to make some moves in the staff to kind of boister the staff presence over in Ohio County, she was willing to go. Uh, when she went over, uh, she took on a great workload. Uh, Stacy is one who puts in the hours, man. If I could say one thing about her, it, she's like a machine and yeah. works hard. And again, she's not. She's another person that is not afraid to tell you how she feels. <laughs> <laughs> and and yes. even if she does, and it offends you, if she genuinely believes that it's for the betterment of the client or for the firm, she's going to tell you. You know, I've made a couple of decisions in the past that haven't been, you know, maybe on the square with how Ohio County's office was treated in comparison to Owensboro. You know, I, I, I'm asked to make a lot of decisions. And sometimes they cut different ways that I don't even see them cutting, you know. Right. And uh, Stacy wasn't afraid to bring them to my attention, and she wasn't afraid to sit down and talk with me through it. Most recently, though, I have to say she took a, she was willing to take a significant pay arrangement to the, to better the firm and to help her. It was just unique that she stepped up. And I'll tell you what she did was she she came up at the end of the year and had some personal days that she just wasn't going to have time to use. Rather than coming to and asking me, hey. Travis, is there a way that I can roll these over? I know we don't aren't allowed to do that, but that was what I was expecting her to say. Um, she asked if she could donate them to another office member who needed some time off at the end of the year. Wow. If that doesn't speak volumes to the type of person that Stacy is, I don't know what does. I can say that that is the first time in managing a law this law firm, which I've been managing for since 2011, so almost 10 years. This is the first time that I've seen such a sacrificial sentiment from a staff member to another staff member. As far as from a financial standpoint, it was a head scratcher, you know? Right. And uh, That's really awesome. Yeah. Man. And so that it's good to know that we have people like that because I think what that does is it builds the team fiber and the yeah. really, really glad to have her. Um, we have Devin, who is part-time with us, who works on, again, a job that I would, ha I would go crazy doing, and that's <laughs> filing paper into our right. files and making sure that our files are in good shape but he's here and and has done done that quietly goes about his work and, and we appreciate having him we do have uh down front uh we share uh we share receptionists with foreman watson land title some of those people come and go through there they're shelly uh renfro who has just an incredible job and does we've mentioned her on the yeah. podcast several times um but we're thankful for for Shelly and, and the job that she does down there and uh, makes our clients feel at home, offers them drinks, makes sure that the, uh, the, the, the rooms downstairs are, are uh, well adorned with candy. Yes. And um, <laughs> which I haven't had my daily allotment of mints, so I'll grab a handful out the door. You got to get those 500 I, calories in. Well, I haven't been a lot of humor <laughs> involved in this episode, and I've done a lot of the talking, but the whole design of this episode was to let people know kind of an introduction of the people that they'll come right. in contact here at the firm. Um, we're growing. There's going to be new people. We've got two clerks that are going to be joining us this summer from law school. They're going to be finishing up their first year of law school uh, several months away from hiring another assistant. So 
our numbers are going to keep growing as far as staff is concerned and we take it seriously we don't want to add somebody here that doesn't see eye to eye with our expectations and our workload and what we expect for our clients but yeah. we tr we truly are a team that's passionate about people's problems we're passionate about each other's problems not long ago i saw that you had an issue with a vehicle and it was second nature hey pj can i help you with yeah. something like yeah, that you reached you know? out. And, and hey the, the water cooler needs to be lifted and changed can somebody grab that you know it's just like everybody doing a little bit of something for each other and in the end that translates to better client care you know because right. everybody's happy to be in their work environment first of all everything you said about all the different staff members i mean was spot on i've always worked in a place where there's people i really like and then there's always those two or three people i don't particularly care for for whatever reason there seriously is not one person here that i don't genuinely like as a person so for me, this is a first where I've worked somewhere where I, I like everyone who's here. Aside from doing what I love for a living, it makes it very easy to come to work when you enjoy, genuinely enjoy being around the people you're around. Right. I mean, I think that's a testament too to your ability to choose people who are like-minded in the goals of, you know, first of all, like being compassionate for other people's problems and things and are good at what they do, you have a knack for choosing genuinely. I keep saying genuine, but you know, that's kind of like the key word. It's like everyone here is very genuine mm -hmm. and it makes it easy to like those people. And I will, and I will say this, and this is not me kissing your ass. I've had, I know better. <laughs> I've, I've had bosses that I liked or even ones that I really liked. Um, I've had bosses who cared in the past from a personal standpoint, I've never had a boss who cared about the people that I work with or me and my family as much as you do. Yeah. Well, that means, um, that. and I've never, I've never had a boss and I, I won't go into specifics. I've never had a boss that pulled me into his office to commend me when I was having an obviously hard time and try to be supportive and make me cry. You've done that yeah. for me. And um, I know Tyler was a big part of it too, but right. you, know, you, when right. you gave me a position, you know, you gave me back my integrity and my soul at a time when I needed it most because I was working a job I absolutely hated. So yeah, so like I said, I'm not trying to. No, you know, and I don't take it like that. But um, but yeah, but, and, and I've never really, I mean, we've never really talked about this. And, no, and we're yeah. talking about a, staff appreciation yeah it's it's staff but i think the fact that we have such a strong competent compassionate team right. is because those are the things you exude and those are the things that are most strong about you right so we all display those things as well yeah well i appreciate it and i i hope that you know if we were to bring people in here not because it feels good to be complimented but it, that, that, <laughs> that that would be consistent across the board because my my goal is to treat people the way that I would want myself to be treated if the roles were reversed. Or right. more importantly, I a commonly think I have four daughters, I have three stepsons, and they're going to be employed by people. They're going to work for people. They're going to also be hopefully you know someday supervisors of themselves and have people under them. If the example, uh, the one number one, the first thing I think of is, I want to treat people the way that I would want my family treated if they're in these work environments. Right. Number two is I hope that the example that that they hear and see in their father uh, is one that they want to um, duplicate or even surpass and exceed in the way that they treat people. And so it's a. Uh, it's it's good to hear that we're doing it right now what that does is it also sets a precedent and if you all of a sudden stop it's going to be noticed you know it's like right. when this this that's why i was so upset with myself with my outburst toward Kathy the other day because that is not who i want to be it's not good management it's not a good example everybody in the office probably heard me in that moment if you didn't it's because you had your earphones on i actually um, heard it with my earphones yeah, on and I, I caught a small part of it through the headphones right but, and I so mean, my point in that is that that is not a moment that i'm happy about and it it needed something more than just saying i was sorry to kathy it needed me to say i'm sorry there's not an excuse 
and I need forgiveness. And, and, and in that there was forgiveness and there was, let's move, how did this happen? And then now, now let's not let, you know, and, and we were able right. to grow from it and get stronger from it. But I do feel bad when I miss the mark because there are expectations based upon the way I've treated people in the past. And so the fact that you've noticed it and that others notice it, that's a good thing. And that also is what motivates me. It means that there, that, that these people, uh, respect me and expect a certain level of, of that out of me every day. And so that's a good thing, you know? Right. Um, so I'm glad you shared that. Um, this went a little longer than we thought, but we get on these rolls and these tangents and we really <laughs> get to talking bit. about it. Um, this has been Law Light brought to you by FWH Legal. And today we just want to emphasize FWH Legal is more than a handful of lawyers. FWH Legal is a team that is set out to help people in the time when they have the most problems in their life. And we are passionate about that. And yes, we are doing all of this at the High Rise White Tower at 530 <laughs> Frederica Street. Check us out, fwhlegal.com. Have a great one. <laughs>